Hey, Ashira. Ashira. Hey, Ashira. What are you doing here? We thought you'd disappeared. Ah, uh, sorry, sorry. I just wanted to see this. The golden flame clock? Our lives can shine like gold. But scatter them to the wind and they still end up like this. In spite of that, people are drawn to honor and glory. Like moths to a flame. I wonder why. Um, I hope you're not looking to me for an answer. Perhaps it's just human nature? Perhaps. Though if that's true, then there's no saving us. We couldn't possibly hope to escape the lure. Destined to be caught in the fire and die. Thanks for that pep talk. So, what are you trying to say? I'm saying that's really not how I want to go. Oops, I'm getting a call. Won't be a minute. This is Zoran from Colony 11. Come in. Yes, hello. This is Ashira from Colony 11. You'll have to call back. I'm busy. <laughs> Seriously, Ashira? And here I thought I'd give you some good news. Uh-huh. Something's got you in a good mood, Zor. Guess I will make time for you then. Don't ask why, but I don't think we're gonna like this. Yeah. Agreed. A short while ago, Colony 11 received a declaration of war. Is that all? Come on, what else is new? You know as well as I do, we get those almost every other day. What if I tell you it's from someone you've been just itching to see again? Need a clue? <gasps> Are you serious? She's back! So? Don't keep us in the dark. <laughs> Time to rejoice, comrades! A certain Madam Consul has finally deigned to pay a visit, hoping to get her revenge. What? That freak seriously come back? She did strike me as the vindictive type. Alrighty. So, Colony Eleven's in great danger. We have to head over and provide aid. Ugh, what rubbish. If you want to go on another rampage, just say so. Good old uni. A typically astute observation. <sighs> Listen, just finish the job this time, okay? No cutting her loose, please. I read you. This time I'll put her down, I promise. If you're finished deliberating, where are you now? Let's see. The Faunus region, near the old Karna battlefield. Ah, that's convenient. Approach from the Mac the Wildwood side. We'll head out from Colony 11, catch them in a pincer, and crush them in one fell swoop. Oh, nice! Let's do that. It sounds fun. Oh, and leave the leader's head on her shoulders. I just promised I'd come to collect it. Mm, I can't guarantee that. Just make sure you're not delayed having some extra fun. Ah, uh, wait! <sighs> Sparks! Have to hurry or there'll be trouble. The only trouble is you, you psycho. Oh, whatever. Let's go and tear our a new one. Too right. Get ready for battle! I can't tell if they're about to hug or throttle each other, those two. Not good. The battle's already started. Hey, look! It's not a colony they're fighting. It's a mix of Kavesi and Agnian troops. Our's very own private army. I don't think she cares about the optics of this anymore. We're not gonna know who's friend and who's foe. What do we do? I have a cunning plan. We'll just round them all up and... Nope, not doing that. That was a joke, dear. For now, we can rendezvous with Colony 11's main force. We'll follow Zor's plan, push for the bridge, and catch the baddies in a pincer. All right? Yeah. Roger that. You're starting to sound awfully normal. Well, you could also summarize it as rush him down and start the carnage. When you put it like that. 
Sorry to keep you, ladies and gents. The star is here. How's it looking? Finally, you're here. Things are trickier than we thought. You're being overrun. I hate to admit it, but that's about right. Come on. Try not to sound so miserable. You're making the three ravens look bad. But seriously, if you're saying that, it sounds like something big is going down. Indeed. Ah, oh, that blasted carrion bird. Queen only knows where she got her claws and a trump card like that. What card? What do you mean? You'll find out soon. After we take care of these. Ha! Trying to swamp us with grunts? They'll need a better car than that to... Hold that thought, Lance. Something's not right here. No way! We gotta beat him again? Ours little trick at work. They keep popping back up no matter what we do. Neat idea, that. There is a bit of a spanner into the works. Whatever. They've pushed us this far. We've got no other option. Actually, we'd better fall back to Colony 11. It's not like you to get cold feet. I just have a bad feeling about this. Times like these, it's better to follow your gut. What's the plan? You lead the retreat of the main force. We lucky few get to guard the rear. Acknowledged. Don't die on us yet, Ashira. Here they come, guys. Don't chase the enemy down. Let them come to us. Remember, we're retreating too. Snuff! What is with these mudders? Why won't they just die? Look, what do we do? There's nowhere left to run! Hmm. Truer words were never spoken. Looks like it's curtains for you, scum. Well, 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 Madam Consul, you look in good health. I'm very well, thank you. How about yourself, you filthy animal? You're looking a tad rough, if you don't mind me saying. Uh, we're a little tied up here. Do you mind making this quick? No oh, enough of these exhausting charades. I don't think you understand the gravity of your situation. If I were to order my army to fall upon you as antholes on a fresh carcass, what do you think would happen? Shall we see? If you wanted to do that, you could have done it from the start. You obviously want something. Indeed. And so to the matter at hand. Foul and wicked traitors, listen to me well. Accept my demand, and I shall order my troops to withdraw this instant. Oh? You'd pull back your troops? In this situation? Ha! <laughs> I'm sure her worshipfulness would love nothing more than to show us mercy. Ugh! Wrong. I know a better way to settle things. One that won't leave behind any grudges. Former Commander Ashira, and you, mutinous Ouroboros whelps. I challenge you to a duel. Uh, excuse me? A duel? What? Is that like a skirmish? You ignoramuses. Ah, but no, I suppose it's only natural you wouldn't know. A duel is a concept from the bygone world. Call it a specific method of waging warfare. You and I will battle under a strict set of rules in order to settle matters once and for all. The winner of the duel will determine how this war ends. So then you're saying we can finish this thing right now? By ourselves? This is nonsense. What would you stand to gain from this? A duel is staked upon one's honor, not one's life. Trivial things such as gain or loss have no bearing here. Ashira, with this duel, I will erase the shame 
you inflicted and restore my due dignity. Hmm. I think you understand. Now give me your answer. I'm just making sure, but what if I refuse? Then the war is back on. My invincible army will crush your whole colony and you along with it. Of course, the same will happen if you renege on your word. Okay. Agreed. I'll accept your duel, or what have you. Most wise. You always were quick on the uptake, I must say. <laughs> Thanks. So, what happens now? If we're going to have it out right now, then... Don't be so hasty. I will send you an invitation with the location of this duel. For now, I shall withdraw my forces. Huh? Do we need all this beating about the bush? Why not just tell us where it is now? Hold your insolent tongue! I told you these things have rules. This is a formal engagement, and as such, there are procedures to follow. Before you go, a question. Those troops behind you that you're so proud of, what in the world have you done to them? I'm under no obligation to tell you. Truly, it has nothing to do with you. More importantly, this will be our final battle. You would do well to prepare yourself. Um, anyway, does this mean we made it? Looks that way. Not what I'd call satisfying, though. Ashira, what will you do? Oh, I'm sure I'll think of something. <clears throat> for now, we'll go back to Colony 11 and wait for this invitation. Yo! How are you guys? It appears we've pulled through. For the moment, at least. However... It's certainly a strange turn of events. True. R's withdrawn her troops, but I'm still uneasy. Everything's going exactly how she planned it. And what were those soldiers, for Queen's sake? I thought I was going crazy. Fighting them one-on-one, -on -one, you might as well be fighting a doll. The numbers... They just wouldn't die. No. It's not that they won't die. I think from the start, they never had life in them at all. If Mobius can do something like that, how come they haven't used it before? Whatever Oz's plan is, if we're forced into a war of attrition, we stand absolutely no chance. Ashira knows this. That's why she's accepted Oz's terms, conceivably. You reckon? I think she just did her usual, just doing anything to see if it's fun. Well, what are our chances of winning, Ashi- Uh... Ashira? I don't think she was here in the first place. What the? Did she just up and disappear on us again? I'm losing my patience with her. I'm pretty sure she wouldn't have left the colony. Say, do you know where she's gone? Nope. No clue. Queen Spleen, I hate that maniac. Don't tell me I have to look after you, too. You've caused enough trouble for us. Don't give me any more. Hmm? Hey. Are you all right? 
W what do you mean? <sighs> You're looking awful. You feeling okay? No, no. I'm fine. Just great. Well, I sure hope so. We've still got our stupid jewel thing. You better keep it together. Ah, uh, sorry. I suppose I'm not feeling too great. Don't just lie about it then, Queen's sake. You're the one who said you'd beat R. I mean, yes, that I did. It's just... I can't get into this. <laughs> to me, this jewel rubbish just sounds like playing at war. It's not the battle I'm after. This again? Then why did you agree to what she wants? Why? Well, I don't mind dying myself, but that doesn't mean I'm fine dragging you all down with me. Oh, you're too kind. Let me remind you, though, we wouldn't be in this mess if it weren't for you. <laughs> I might have made a serious miscalculation, I'm ashamed to say. Hey, there's something I've wanted to ask you. Ashira, what do you really want? How do you mean? It's just... What is this battle you're looking for, ultimately? What will it take for you to be satisfied? If all these meaningless fights aren't it, then why not just say it straight? <sighs> what? What is it? You're just staring at me. Uni. Yeah? This is just hypothetical. But if I asked you, here and now, to kill me, do you think you would? You what? Are you for snuffing real? You're telling that same tired joke? Or maybe you really have lost your mind? <sighs> Don't just clam up. Say something. Huh? A message? Oh dear. It'll be a summons from our favourite Lady Consul. This is... a set of coordinates. Wait, this points to... These are right below Keves Castle. Is this some kind of mistake? Hmm. I wonder. I suppose we'll know when we get there. Well, we'd better make tracks. If the job's a bad one, it's best to get it over with all... snappy-like. Oi! Wait! Oh yes, what I was saying before, it was just a joke, like you said. Don't pay it any mind. Can't believe it. Who knew there was a place like this beneath the castle? There's nothing here at all. Right. But, ugh, what's going on? It feels like... The skin on the back of my neck's crawling. This place... It's... Ah! Ashira? What's up? It's, uh... It's nothing. Nothing at all. Welcome to the bottom of the world. I've been waiting for you. Yep. Yeah, I'm finally here. What's the next step? Self-introductions? Or maybe... We can just get down to the killing. <laughs> no need to be so impatient. After all, this might be the last time we two will get to clash with one another. Hmm. <laughs> And does it say anywhere in your rules that we have to chew the fat down in the arse end of nowhere? Ah, oh, do you think I'm playing around? Don't get so bent out of shape. Is this place not to your liking? Observe, I've prepared this very special stage for our very special battle. I can't think of a more appropriate place for our duel than this, the ass end of nowhere as you so aptly put it. What's wrong? You're very quiet. At this point, you'd usually have something glib to say. This isn't like you, my dear. Ah, could it be? Your neck injury is troubling you. Something along those lines, perhaps? 
You and I, we've met before. Incorrect. This is, in fact, the first time. However, I know what it is you remember. I know everything about you. Didn't I say before? There's nowhere more appropriate for our duel. <laughs> Don't tell me. Did you truly think that you could hide it? You didn't think we'd know. But hey, the spark is she blabbing on about here? Oh, come on now. You haven't even told your friends, Ashira. Hm. Well, I suppose you couldn't have. Right? You're a coward. Ashira! What, what the spark? What, when did they? <laughs> I got you there, you imbecile! Ashira! You've got to hang in there! No way! Ashira's... Expertly done, W. Everything is going exactly as I planned. Can play with doll? Oh, yes. Be my guest. Play with your little doll to your heart's content. Yay! So that was it. Those soldiers weren't ours doing at all. They were being controlled by this other console instead. That bitch! This is what she wanted all along! And we fell for it! Jewel my ass! Actually, that's where you're wrong. What follows next will be a duel, plainly and unmistakably. Only, your opponent might be a little closer to home. <laughs> Not good. At this rate, if we hold back, she'll wipe the floor with us. But we can't... Snuff! What do we do? <laughs> Excellent! Marvelous! Each move so steady, so precise, so certain. Oh, I do love a good game of chess. I knew it would be worth the trouble I went to, putting this glorious stage together. Kill? Not yet. Play with them a little more. This appetizer isn't nearly enough to satisfy me. Play. What do you think you're doing? Hey, Ashira. What was it you told me? Something about there being no friends or foes when fighting each other to the death or whatever. That's why. I just had to take that shot. You should be happy with that. Right? Oh. Now this is unexpected. Caught a taste of her lust for battle, have you? Belt up! You just shut your ugly trap! What?! Hey! You're satisfied with that, right? So come on! Wake the spark up! Right now! There's no snuffing way this is the death you were looking for! Am I wrong? Ashira! No, no. You're not wrong. But anyone else would be dead right now. You fool. Ashira! Ah. Oh. Been a real while since I took a hit like that. But... I owe you one. I'm back and I never felt more alive. Damn it! W! What are you playing at? Seize her again! I can't. She put up barriers around her psyche. Anything more than a lifeless husk. And it's too hard. Cease your belly aching and do it! Just do it now! Do it! Do it! Do it! I told you. I can't. W! I've come too far for you to muck this up now! Oh dear, oh dear. Having a fallout? Is this part of your duel's rules too? 
Shut up! I'll tell you what I think of our shitting duel! If I just murder the lot of you here, then it's all the same to me! Java Girl, bring out all the husks we have! And don't even think about abstaining yourself! Okay... Ashira, don't forget! Remember what you promised! Uh-huh, I remember. How about we end this once and for all? That brings our business to a close, Madam Consul. Any last words? Yes. Gloat. Maniac. I hope you lose your mind. Writhe in agony. You can run from your pain all you want. It'll only happen again. No matter how much you fight, no matter how many lives you take. <laughs> Even if it works out the same, I have to fight against it. This pain. However many times. The look on your face tells me you want to ask something. You... knew about all this from the start? About Mobius? About how the people of this world are born, all that? Since before you even met us? All along? Can I... tell you a story? <sighs> It's from a ridiculously long time ago, a time all but gone from memory. Today, soldiers fight and scrabble to survive for ten years, all to be blessed with the honor of the homecoming ritual. But once, there was a time when there was no such thing as a homecoming ritual. You what? I've never heard this before. I did just say, it's all but gone from memory. Even so, there was a ceremony for those soldiers who reached homecoming age. Do you know what would happen? A consul would end them personally. No offseers to be seen. In other words, an execution. What? Execution? What the spark for? It sounds better if you call it a ceremony to offer up the light of a person's life. But really, all that awaited them was a death much more humiliating than if they'd fallen to an enemy's blade. But... that doesn't make any sense! And why do you know any of this? Wait... No way! You don't mean... This scar on my neck. I didn't always have this, you know. It starts appearing as I get older. Along with memories of that day... and the pain. Each time I remember thinking one thing... This isn't how it's supposed to be. I didn't go through all this fighting for it to end like this. And another lovely gift. The pain keeps getting worse and worse. <laughs> It'll become unbearable as homecoming nears. Until finally I go mad from the pain, and then... I didn't... How many times have you had to go through this? Do you know? Uni... I know to you it must have seemed like I just spout nonsense and try to look cool. 
But really, I just want to escape. Escape the feeling that death is wrapped around my throat, ready to take me. So, there you have it. All I want is to die in the time and place that I choose. That's basically it. Yeah, maybe I really am just a coward. A shearer. Well, now I get why you asked me if I'd kill you. <laughs> you must have thought I was a fool. But you see, Uni, it would mean more to me. Much more than any of the deaths I've gone through until now. I'll do it. No need to convince me any further. Thank you. <sighs> this way I can finally move on without any regrets. However, under one condition. If I'm gonna kill you, I go too. You gotta take me with you. Huh? Um, sorry, run that past me again? Oh, just forget it. Shut up. I know, I'm sounding like an idiot. But, guess there's no help in that. You're... I've sort of realized you're the same as me. I'm the same as you. So you won't hear any crap like, you gotta to tough it out, you gotta live on. Or anything's better than dying. Not from me, of all people. <sighs> I'd just rather... help you find the right place where you can end things. And if I mess that up, I'll just have to kick your bucket myself. But you've got to do the same for me, and I'm not taking no for an answer. Deal? Uni. Do you remember? But Ashira, both of our lives, they don't belong to just us, you know. You've got me there. You put me in a bind. Guess I can't go dying just yet.